Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech in Texas Let's Play Minecraft, Season 1, Episode 7. Now, let's get started today. Um, you know, one of the things I was noticing, uh, I was looking through all of my chests back here, this one is pretty much completely full. And I really don't want to have to um, make another chest for these, because, I mean, it's just cobblestone. So, I thought of one way that we could probably take care of that. Let's start, uh, let me see, I'm going to need a few ingredients here. i got some obsidian, and I'm going to need, where's my philosopher's stone? It's in one of these chests around here. Uh, there you are. All right. Now, let's go ahead and make some smooth stone here. If any of you have ever uh, used equivalent exchange, um, you'll know what I'm making here. If not, you'll see in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get the overclocker in that one. All right. It's going to make it a lot faster. Woohoo! And now we have our four stone. So, oops, almost uh, nighttime. Okay. <laughs> Come on. It is nighttime. Let me sleep. Thank you. All right. We'll get started with this as soon as night's over. Yay! All right, so I'll take and put four obsidian in each corner. Take the smooth stone we just made. And we got a transmutation tablet from Equivalent Exchange. Let's go ahead and let's see. I kind of want this, well, for now we'll put it in the center. Sweet. Now. With transmuting stuff, let me get this so that lights up. Uh, you have what you get out of what you're tra uh, transmuting from over here, and we can burn items to get EMC. Now, EMC, um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, honestly. I, it's not something I researched in, uh, for, but basically, all every item in Minecraft, everything from dirt to cobble to Pretty much any any of the basic items have a certain EMC value. So if I stick these in here, we get a EMC 60 basically because I had a stack of 60 cobble, and we can just keep on sticking it in there, and that increases the EMC value. And if I stick in a piece of wood, then it learns that, and I can get um, let's see, it looks like six wood out of that. Not bad. All right, so. We'll go ahead and get that EMC back for now. So that's basically what I'm going to do with uh, my chest here. And as soon as I'm finished, I will be back. All right, so the chest is pretty much cleared out now. I did save a little bit of cobblestone back because you never know, I might end up using more of it. But what I want to teach it is uh, how to give me cooked food. That way I don't have to go look for animals quite as often. Just a simple thing I want it to do. So let's go ahead and cook this first. And then we'll go right over to there and teach it to it. And each time you stick a new item into uh, this side, basically, it learns how to make that particular item. So we got 3,782 EMC. And I will just uh, get some pork chops here off of that. Yay! Now I won't go hungry as often. <laughs> All right. Now let's see. Now that we have a steady supply of food, I do want to make some more solar panels, um, probably so we can get some more power, and then update this bat box so that we have uh, more for here. Then I'm also thinking we'll probably do a some more overclocker upgrades for the machines to make them faster. Um, but I will do that in just a little bit. Uh, the other thing is, for some odd reason, and I'm not sure why this happened, some of my animals escaped, and I, I mean, there's no holes in my fence. Um, there's no way for them to climb over, as far as I'm aware. So I'm a little bit confused as to how exactly they got out. Anyway, if someone would let me know in the comments, that would be awesome. All right. Now, let's see from here. I could also use this to do... 
ores. But for now, I just want it for food. Because making it do ores it won't be quite as fun. Hmm. And a diamond gives you a ton of EMC, basically, if it's um, burnt. But I want to use it for something else, actually. All right. So give me a moment to think here, and I will be right back. All right, so after thinking about it for a while, I decided instead of doing solar panels, that the more efficient way for now would be to do a geothermal generator. Now, basically, what, what that's going to do for me um, is if I pump lava into it, uh, it will generate 20 uh, EU a tick, and um, it'll basically input that right into the bat box here, and we'll go from there. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to need a few things, uh, a few items from Buildcraft, um, and also Industrial Craft and such. So I'm going to collect the resources I need. I will be right back, and I'll show you how to make a few of the things. All right, I think I've collected everything I'm going to need. Let's start with the stuff that we're going to need up here. Um, let's see. First thing I'm going to probably do is the geothermal generator. Now, remember, I took the generator off the um, next to the, where the machines are there. Uh, on one of the first episodes, so we're going to use that as the base. Now the other thing I'm going to need is some empty cells because it uses those to store the lava. Now let's see, glass. I'm trying to remember the re recipe off the top of my head. If I happen to mess up, let's see, yeah I think I messed it up. So let's turn on NEI and it's in recipe mode. Um, so let's see, we'll type in geo, aha there it is. And, oh, I didn't need stone in there. I need to put refined iron in there. So let's actually put question. And then that shows me the recipe in here. We'll go ahead and put the refined iron in. And there we go. Got a geothermal generator. Awesome. Now, I'm thinking, let's see. Not too high. Let's try right about there. And that's looking good. We'll connect that on the bottom with some wiring. Can't use tin on this one because it generates um, 20 energy units per tick. Um, so it would it would not work um, very well with this tin wiring. And basically it would just burn it out immediately. Um, whereas with the copper wire, it'll work fine. All right. So the next thing that I want to make uh, is to have it um, to where I can actually get the lava up here. Now, I could run pipes, but that would take forever to get all the way up here. But I, I still am going to use a certain type of piping, basically. Uh, what it's going to be is it'll be teleport pipes. And in, in order to make those, we'll have to start with some gears. So, let's get a few of those made up. Alright, that should be plenty. Then once we have the basic gear, oh come on, let me go ahead and turn any eye off here again, so that I can see what I'm doing here. We'll take the wooden gear in the center. Let's go ahead and make a few of those, and then I'll go ahead and make some cobble gears. Then from there, we're gonna go ahead and make. Iron. So basically each one of these is just an upgrade and it requires the previous one in order to do it. And I don't think I made it myself any gold ingots, did I? Alright, let's get that started while I am doing this in the background. Alright, so now that we got our stone gears, we're going to work our way all the way up to diamond. But we're only going to need two total basically of these gears once we're up to that point. And I hopefully should have enough now. Yep, looks like just about there to make the teleport pipes. Then once we're finished with that, um, I'll start building the stuff for downstairs basically. And in order to pump lava, um, first of all obviously I need a pump down there. And uh, I'll probably need some redstone engines, um, another teleport pipe for down there, and a few other things. So let's see if this is getting me enough gold. Yep, should have enough now. All right. 
So let's go ahead and stick those gears. Ah, there's my iron gears. Back in here. Let's make those into gold. We'll need two. All right. Now that we have two gold gears, we'll put those in the center and stick the diamonds around those. And now we have two diamond gears. That was expensive. But we'll stick those in there, put the glass in there, and now we have item teleport pipes. The unfortunate thing is item teleport pipes are not going to work for what I need to do. Because if I stick an item teleport pipe on there, it's just going to be like, you know, what are you doing? Uh, you know, because it wants to transfer liquid, not, um, or items, not liquid. So, I'm going to need cactus, actually, in order to get that to happen. And we'll go ahead and take the gold out that's remaining in here. We'll stick the cactus in instead. And we'll make this cactus into dye. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what good is that going to do me? I mean, that just gives it to where I can color wool. Well, I will show you here in just a moment. Let's see. I think four should be enough. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the rest of the stuff that's in the furnace. Now, if I stick the cactus green into the crafting table, I'll get pipe waterproofing. Now, I'll stick two of these in here, because I want to waterproof two of these into waterproof teleport pipes. And there we go. Two waterproof teleport pipes. Plus, I still have six item teleport pipes that I can use for other stuff later. So I'll go ahead and stick that in the chest down here for now, since I don't need those. All right. Now I need to make the stuff for downstairs. Um, and this is where a lot of uh, buildcraft stuff will come in handy, um, including the engines and the pump down there. So we're going to need some more gears. Or actually, I already made some. More than I needed originally. So let's go ahead and use those instead. And we're going to make... Um, let's see here. Actually, I need to make piping first. So I'll go ahead and do that. And the reason why I'm going to make um, a stone pipe here, which is just basically two stone and glass in the center, is I want a to be able to see the lava when it comes into the machine here. So I'm going to set that on top of the geothermal. And then on top of that, we're going to... Hmm. Oh. Eh. Now, see here is one of the th neat things about that. So it didn't connect the pipe, and the reason why is I was trying to connect a regular stone pipe into a waterproof pipe. Doesn't work. Um, now let's try that again. There we go. So I waterproofed a stone pipe, and now it should connect in. Now if I right-click the teleport pipe here, we get this nice interface. It shows that I'm the owner. And let's just set it to 100, basically. Um, and then we'll give it a name. We'll call it Lava to Base, I guess. And we'll add. And definitely want to have Receive True. All right. If I don't have receive set to true, it'll basically try to teleport lava from the other uh, pipe that I will take down there, and it won't work basically up here. All right. So the next thing I need to make is some engines. Um, now, I don't remember the recipes for these right off the top of my head since I don't build them that often. So let's go ahead and reopen in any eye, and we'll type in engine. And I'll come up with quite a few. I need the redstone engines for now. All right, so we need some wood planks, glass, wooden gears, and a piston. And let's see. Should be able to do this. All right. Just trying to remember these recipes. Actually, let's see if I can do those. So I need four pistons because I'm going to make four engines. Let's go ahead and get those. All right, and we need stone, it looks like. Hmm. wonder if I made enough of those. Probably didn't. Guess we'll find out shortly. Must be doing something wrong. Maybe it just needs cobble. I'm trying to use um, regular stone. Ah, there we go. All right. So we'll get four of these made. All right, now we have the basis for our engine. Now let's see what else it needed. Just needed glass in the center, some wooden gears, so I'll need eight gears and some wooden planks. Ooh, perfect. All right, so let's just divide the stack here. 
stick some of this glass in. And we'll need to add these in here. Oh, it looks like just enough. Yay! Now I got some redstone engines. And I'll just show you what these look like here. So, uh, this is your basic redstone engine. And the reason it's just sitting straight up like that is that it's not connected to anything. It's not connected to a pipe or anything else. So, it has nothing to do. Alright. It almost looks like sunset. So, probably need to go to bed here really soon so that I don't have mobs spawning around me while I'm trying to do recipes. Let's give it just a little bit longer. And let's see, that should let me do that now. And we'll be right back. Yay! All right. So now that I have my redstone engines, I also probably should think about making some switches to run them. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. All right. Next thing I'm going to build is a pump. And let's see. That uses a mining well and a tank. Let's see. And a mining well is an iron gear and an iron pickaxe and iron ingots and redstone. All right. Let's see here. So let's do the iron gear first. So we'll start out again with the basic wood gear. Then we'll go from there to a stone gear. I think that's the way it works. Oh, doesn't like smooth stone. All right. So I guess uh, stone gears have to be cobbled. All right. And then we'll make that into a iron gear. Then from there, we'll make ourselves a iron pickaxe. And let's see, I'm still forgetting how to make this recipe. So let's see. There we go. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. And we'll finish it off with that. Yay! Now we have our mining well. And all a mining well does, basically, is it'll dig straight down into the bottom of the earth, all the way down to bedrock, and it does it just one wide, and then it spits the stuff out the top. I might want one of those again later, but for now, I want it to be a pump. So in order to make a tank, we take glass, we put that all the way around the edge of the crafting table, and that gives us our tank. And then we'll just combine those back into the crafting table. Ah, uh, did I mess up on that? I must have. Ah, there we go. And there's our pump. Awesome. So we got our waterproof teleport pipe. We have our stone waterproof pipe, redstone engines, and a pump, and some switches to turn them on and off. I think I have everything I need set up, I believe. Oh, wait a minute. I need to go down below. So I will meet you down there. All right. So we're back down in the mine, and I am just heading down almost to the area that I want to be in to actually set this up. Yay! All right. Now, one thing I did forget to make, and I'll actually have to go back up in a little bit to make it, because um, otherwise this idea won't work. But let's just get this uh, set up here, and then we'll worry about the other part later. So let's see. Where is going to be the best area for me to do this? Let's get this all cleared out. All right. I just want to make a little platform over the lava. Let's see, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. And just leave one spot here. Awesome. Let's see if I'm close enough. Oh, don't want to fall in. I always get a little freaked out when I'm next to lava. Because if my shift key ever fails me, I'm going in. The reason I'm building this platform here is I'm going to be sticking a few things on it. So, there we go. Awesome. So let's get this area cleared out just a little bit more so I can kind of move around and see what I'm doing. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to set one piece of cobble up there and switch a few things around in my inventory. Let's uh, go ahead and turn any eye off for the moment. Put in a pump. Then I'm going to take this piece of cobble out just for the moment, make sure this is working. 
Good. Let's see, it's going down. Alright. Looks like it's sunk down in the lava now. So I'll go ahead and cover that back up because I need to actually put stuff there. And then we can get rid of this piece of cobble here. I'm going to stick these redstone engines around it. And let's see. I didn't make myself enough space. Oh. I did not realize there was a cave above me. <laughs> Interesting. Do I have torches on me? Nope, the one thing I did not bring down. Alright. Ah, that's okay. For now, we'll just uh, put the stone pipe on there. Whoop. Scared the living daylights out of me. Awesome. Alright. Now, lava to base. That's all I had to do. Oh, I guess that the chunks are close enough. What I was thinking I was going to have to do um, was actually make what's known as a chunk loading block. And I'll actually show you how to make those because I eventually will need those for when I collect the lava. Um, but for now, it looks like it, it is staying connected, so that's awesome. Alright. Now these engines don't seem to be doing anything. I wonder why. Hmm. Oh, I know. I need to give them redstone signal because they're redstone engines so the best way I could probably do that is take these switches that I made earlier and I'll stick one here and that should power both of these and then I'll stick one here and that should power both of those let's see if it does it's gonna take them a little while to warm up awesome now let's see should see whoops should see lava being pumped here in a second if it's working properly. Hmm. So far, nothing. May take a little. Oh, there we go. Awesome. All right. I'll just leave those to do their thing. All right. Meet you back upstairs. All right. So we're back up top, and it looks like it did work properly because we now have lava in here. And it is getting pumped from down below. Awesome. Now let's see. I wonder if I can still access my bat box and check on the power. Yep. So it already completely filled the bat box. That is awesome. So now I don't have to worry about running out of power for a while. All right. The next thing I probably should do is make some more of those redstone engines and possibly another pump. And, um,. Go and see about that oil. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. So, um, I will go ahead and make uh, some more stuff, and I will be right back, and we'll head over to that oil wall. All right, well, it looks like I have everything I'm going to need now. Um, went ahead and made myself another pump, and let's go ahead and turn any eye off now since I don't need it for recipes at the moment. Um, so, I got the pump, got our four redstone engines, uh, two waterproof teleport pipes. So that leaves me only four teleport, um, teleport pipes left and some stone transport pipes and a few other miscellaneous items. All right. Uh, hmm. You know, I can't use oil in the geothermal generator. So for now, I'm going to have to store it somewhere. Where would I store oil? Hmm. Good question. Let's see here. Oh, I know. We could use tanks. Let's see here. I think back in this back corner probably somewhere would be awesome. So let's just drop it in. Yeah, about here should be fine. Hmm. Let's see here. Still have more piping. Get as much of that in as possible. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One more. Awesome. 
Yeah, we'll just stack those in. Yay! Now most of it will be buried down below, so I won't see it most of the time. Awesome, we'll just fill the rest of this in. Alright, and just as before with the geothermal generator, I'll stick a... Oh. Hmm. That's strange. I thought I could just attach that directly. Let's see here. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's peculiar. I do remember being able to do that before. Let's see here. What's going on? Probably need another type of pipe to attach it, I bet you. Let's see here. Maybe I need a stone pipe to begin with. That might be the issue. Let's find out. Aha! That connects directly. And then I know for sure that the waterproof teleport pipe will connect to that. Awesome. All right. So we'll call this one oil to base. And we'll set it to frequency 10. Oop. Need to put the name in after. There we go. And we definitely want it to receive true. And... Again. Awesome. So now we got two different liquid teleport pipes going to two different things. Alright. That's probably going to fill up very quickly. Now I do have the one oil well over in that direction that I could go to. But I actually have a defined one over here too. So let's just run over nearby. There's the entrance to the mine. I'll just show you real quick. Got it all dug out. Um, much higher than it had been before. So it makes it a lot easier to go up and down. Eh. That's unusual to see a pig stuck in midair. Oh, I guess he is standing on the block, sort of. Alright, let's head over this way. Yep. Awesome. So let's get this all cleared out here. And... Need to get up on top of there. Forgot to bring cobble with me. That would have been very effective. Hmm. And it's almost sunset. So. I probably should just head back. Go to sleep. Grab some cobble. And then come back and set that up. Let's see if I can get there before it goes completely night. Yay. Will it let me sleep yet? Nope. Gotta figure out that exact location that I want it to be before it goes down. Uh, let's see. Awesome. It's just when there's just a sliver left. Alright. Oop. Don't want to forget cobble. Let's see. Where do I have some? Ah, there should work. Amazing how many of these trees are around. The um, aura in this area must be much higher than in other areas on the map because I see so many of these in just this particular biome. So, all right, let's make a. Whoop. <laughs> Always forget that doesn't work if you. If there's grass underneath it. All right. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's see, we'll get up here. Eh, eh, nope, come on. Hmm, but I didn't make myself a way of getting up or down. Let's see here. There we go. Now I just need to build out of this platform. 
I always like doing it this way because it makes it a lot easier rather than trying to build around the oil uh, to just build over the top of it especially with these um, smaller ones there's some that actually are much taller they go like three to four times the height of this one um, or more and th those are the hardest ones because you have to like um, tower all the way up and then get that so let's go ahead and put our pump down as before and we'll go ahead and break this add our redstone engines in just like us with the um, lava and let's see do I still have switches on me I do I need to stop calling them that they're actually levers all right and stick that and a teleport pipe and we'll just set that oil to base come on sweet all right everything should be set up properly We'll go ahead and click here and here, and that should start pumping. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to help me improve or have ideas for future videos, leave it in the comments below or send it to techandtextproductions at gmail.com.